Suck my flute. No, don't do that. Instead, go to shirtswithaz.cool and take advantage of their massive Black Friday sale by using code MOFRIDAY on checkout for a whopping 25% off store-wide! Yes, I said store-wide. That includes my own merch for the first time ever. 25% off. Buy anything on the website and just use code MO. Friday! Cafes! You guys heard of them? Maybe you've ordered a large coffee and burger? Well, today, we're taking a look at Pikachu's cafe. Believe it or not, he has opened one. I don't know how he opens up the jar of fresh beans without a thumb, but he's got a lot of stock. There's many things here to look at. Now, this thing came out quite a while ago, and I have been sitting on it for a while. We can tell because it's got Pokemon the movie, 20th anniversary there, 2017. It is by Remint. Hopefully the coffee hasn't gone cold. First up, we have Pikachu pancakes. I'm pretty sure we've got three of them, uh, and they get served on this lovely orange Pikachu cafe plate, bowl, bowl plate. Now, only one of them has the detailed face burnt into it. The other two are just the shape of his fat head. Up next, we have some genuine squirtle urine. Served uh, fresh in a jug with ice and slices of lemon. Now, the thing about this one is, it seems the bottom pops off, which is a weird way to do it, and you can take out the frozen log. And for whatever reason, they have this replacement one, which I've not seen them do before. There's a hole in the top for a straw. We've got a knife and fork for those pancakes. Then we have this little jug of orange soda. Now that is a breakfast. Okay, let's open up another one. And I see a Pikachu bagger! Pikachu bagger, Pikachu bagger! Okay, we have a, a little serving tray. And here we have the beautiful burger, which I think they actually make something that looks exactly like this at the real Pokemon Cafe. That looks so good! At the real Pokemon Cafe. Hey, I went to that Pokemon Cafe and made a vlog. Maybe I should edit that. Mmm, authentic Japanese rat meat. All right, up next, we have another drink. A lot. Ooh, a Charmander themed uh, soda with some ice in there. What else do we have in here? What is that? Some sort of fluffy egg fries or something? I love going through all this stuff. We still have so many. They continuously make these. That's why I never catch up. That and I don't post. We have uh, sauce and sour cream or mayonnaise. How does anyone not like this? This is so adorable. And lastly, we have a little bit of garnish for the glass and a straw. Order's up. Now let's move on to the next one. After this, I think we'll do an early burning shadows today. We have uh, another plate and maybe some desserts. There's the plate. Is this a curry or... Yeah, that, oh, look at the Pikachu rice. Man, Japanese curry, take me back, if that's what it is. And we have another refreshing beverage, which just looks like some fancy water, which goes in this very big jug. Very strange that they decided to make all of these ones go in upside down. And you just clip the bottom in like so. Got an octagon-shaped bottom. Now, octagon is an amazing shape that has eight fantastic sides and eight awesome angles. Yes, thank you, Jack Black. We have a, a wooden spoon, an empty glass, and lastly, some um, some paper towel to wipe your hands, which gets stored in this Pikachu holder, I think. The table is getting quite full. All right, let's do our last burning shadows from this three pack, and let's see what we can get. Open like so, slide off the back, and see what the code card can do for you. One, two, three to the front, getting rid of the steel energy. Let's see, we have electric, we've got go goose, goose, gooseberry, we've got a soul rock, dynamo, crab roller, inke, ladybird, caterpie, wimpod, and then on the very end, toxic croak, so many of you. When will you stop coming? All right, let's see what we got. Oh, look at, <laughs> it's an oddish. 
It's an Oddish house plant. Cafe plant. This one is cool. Oh, ooh, it's one of these cafes I probably couldn't afford to eat at. Well, I mean, it could be the polar opposite. Either this is very fancy drizzled chocolate, or a rat has got into the kitchen and taken a shit. Because you can see two footprints there, and, you know, Pikachu does run the cafe. If this Oddish actually comes out, no. Oh well, I don't think this design would have worked. That would have been very, very cool. Ah, it seems someone has ordered the dessert taster kit. We have a whole plate of treats here. Then we've got a nice... ...of Pikachu coffee. Or, this is probably peppermint tea, because we have this nice little leaf to just sit in the top. This place is getting crowded. All right. Next, we have the menu board, and what is that? A statue that goes out the front? No cafe is complete without a gorgeous menu to order from. I also forgot to mention the little bits of paper that come in these. A lot of these can be used for extra bits. That's either like a menu or a box. This one has maybe a, like a welcome mat, I think. The burger one has this. Oh, it's got a drink coaster and a bit of paper that goes underneath the burger as well. Man, imagine if I was an actual channel that cared to bother to cut all those out for you guys. Unfortunately, I don't care about you enough. But please have some extract Bulbasaur squeezed fresh from his bulb. I even got you this crazy straw to go in the top like so, and a little flower just to garnish it. That was probably trimmed off the back of a Venusaur. Barbaric. Okay, I think this is like a wooden Pikachu statue uh, that goes out the front and, oh yeah, welcome. There's the little stand for it. Very, very epic. And then we have this random waffle with <laughs> no plate or anything. Would you guys come to my cafe? I really need to set up all of this stuff in like a big gay dollhouse at some point. Next, we have so far got no doubles. We're still getting new things. What is that? A big a brew of tea. We've got some shelving, some more desserts and some Pikachu syrup for those pancakes and slash or single waffle. That is a monstrous teapot. We have a bag of Coffee beans, I think? Original blend coffee? What Pokemon do you get coffee from? Leave your answer in the comments below. Lastly, we have this little sort of dessert display box for these macaroons, which are one each of the original starters. Fuck! Ah! Oh, I was... <laughs> that looks so on purpose. I was, I was gonna just throw it next to it. Okay, well, a typhoon hit the cafe. God damn it! I was gonna get a full nice thing for a thumbnail there. Looks like I'm just gonna have to go with my generic, hey, I'm holding the product. <sighs> okay, what do we have next? And we got a double. We got those cheesy chips and burger. Probably gonna get a couple of doubles now. We have the curry. I think it's a curry. Oh yeah, it actually says right there, in English, spicy curry. I never do things really neatly. I was so happy. Where I was- oh! <laughs> Okay, I think I need a small break from the cafe stuff. Let's call in Max Mofo's Postcard Collection! It's the segment where I usually open up postcards that I get from the Pokemon Center online. Um, I've had this sort of just bundled up sitting in a box and I think I remember seeing a postcard on the back of it, one that you could just buy. What? Is that artwork? That is super cool. It looks kind of like fan artwork, but it's still cool. What is this, like a ruler card paper holder for school kids? Anyway, here, I think this is a postcard and it's got, must have been to celebrate the release of the Let's Go series. Let's slide it out like so. Is this, is that even like a postcard? I mean, yes it is, but this feels like Paper paper not cardboard adorable artwork on it though probably nice to add something slightly different to the postcard Collection what is this when I just order I just buy anything don't I I'm a su actually no that is kind of cool These are stickers. I think these were quite expensive 350 yen for a sticker and I I bought a, a couple of them. I guess I guess that's where the money's been going. No wonder I can't eat at fancy cafes. The no, these are cool. That is 
Worth it. I, yeah. I, right, guys? Um, and then we have, what is this? I don't even know what those are. I'm not even going to bother opening it. We have a whole collection of Let's Go stickers in there as well. We've got the same artwork that was on the postcard with a little Mew on the back. Let's go, Pikachu, Eevee. Then we have this one, which has got a nice little back piece. Then we have some more. Let's go artwork. Why is it all like holographic, strangely shimmering like that? And then we've got Eevee and Pikachu drawn in this very cutesy, chibi style. I think I've seen enough, boys. Um, yeah, yeah. Then we have this hard one as well. What is this? Why are Japanese kids using this big cumbersome object as a ruler? All right, I think that's probably all I've got for that segment. I'll throw in this one as well. 64 card sleeves for your deck. Uh, Eevee and Pikachu just scribbled on. All right, what do we have? Yes, something new, something big. Ah, it's a table. I can finally put more things on it. Oh wait, I, I actually forgot. Come on, this would have looked so nice. I nearly did it. Unfortunately, my need to destroy outbalances my need to create. But here is a little Pikachu ice cream. What a treat. Is this just another paper holder with no papers to go in it? We have a little ceramic mug and plate and it looks completely basic, but it's got the Pikachu back stripes. And we've got some nice warm tea in there. And then lastly, we have the actual table menu. Very, very cool. It's essentially an ad for its own product that I have already bought. Wait a minute, I have not got that egg. Where's the Pikachu egg? Egg check. Let's see, what do we have? In this one, that's it. That is, there it is. Oh, ham and egg. What's the ham made from? That's what I wanna know. We've already had this discussion on the channel before. They did actually used to have quite a lot of real animals in the old Pokemon episodes. I think they started phasing them out more and more. Oh, look at that. It's cooking while also hinting that they eat Pokemon. Uh, but here is, it's pretty much the same. Th oh, he's winking. It's like a pancake, but it's like a bread loaf. Oh, of course, it'll go nice with that. You can use the ear to dip the yolk. Oh, man, now I want breakfast. We have a slab of wood to bludgeon the customers over the head with, who give you complicated coffee orders. And we have some more drink. That's a, a coffee, I think. We have a, another mug. And we have a, an actual thing to brew the coffee in. Can we take this and put it in there like so? Nope, it does not work like that. All right, have we got all of them? I think we might have by now. There is a double up of the ham egg. Let's see what this one has. Another double up of the table. Always good to have more tables. If you had a bunch of those, you could set up a nice little proper restaurant. Definitely a decent double. And we, oh, I thought that was new, but that is the one that we started with. Next, we have, what do we have in this one? That is also, ah, uh, I thought that was new as well. We've got the Oddish. Right, last one. And we're gonna call it an episode. Okay, what do we got? Nope. All right, let's actually take a look on the box and see if we got them all. Did we get all of these items? We got all of those and we got all of those, I think. Check out this final thing. Now, I know my hoarding has got bad because imagine making damage counters and then going, hey, what's a good design for the sleeves? Let's, let's call the sleeve department. And they're like, hey, damage counter department. Mind if we just put your damage counters as, as a design on our sleeves? I'm like, sure. What one do you want? Give us the 50s. Hey, we'll print the 10s and the 100s. This is definitely a design that people want. You can get anything in Japan. I'll tell you that. 